Hello boys and girls and welcome back to another video. It is JD here. All right, so we are still in the month of October and we are talking about who's got it. And now remind me, who's got it? Do you remember? Yes, God's got it. Who's got it? God's got it. Awesome. Now, today we're going to do this fun activity. Um, so I want you to just go ahead and stand up, okay? Stand up and make sure you have a little bit of space. Now, we're gonna go tra traveling. We're gonna pretend we're going to all these different places and in all these different places, they have so many types of weather, okay? So yeah, there's sunshine and it's raining and it's snowing and all these different things, okay? So I want you to show me what do you do in the middle of all this different weather, okay? So I want you to act it out and act it out with me, okay? So for the first one, um, we're gonna pretend like it is really sunny outside and it is just beautiful and nice, all right? So I'm gonna put my sunglasses on. I don't know about you, but the sun is really bright. Put your sunglasses on and you're just feeling good. Maybe you've been spinning around, feeling the sun on your skin and just really just taking in the sun. Awesome job, guys. Do you have your sunglasses on? Because I do. Awesome. Okay. Now, let's pretend like it is pouring down raining. Oh my goodness, it's raining. So what do we got to pull out? We got to pull out our umbrella. We're going to let our umbrella up and we're going to go through the rain. It's going, it's pouring, it's pouring. Oh my gosh, I'm soaking wet. Are you wet from the rain? It's so much rain. Awesome job, guys. Okay, so another one that we're going to do is it's really windy. The wind is blowing, all right? Whoa, whoa, are you being pushed around by the wind? It's a little windy. My hair, hair is blowing. Is your hair blowing in the wind? Awesome, whoa, the wind is taking me. Whoa, awesome job, guys. Okay, so now it's thundering. It's thundering and it's lightning outside. Oh. Wait a minute, I think I might wanna go inside my house. So I'm gonna go inside my house. And it's like, whoa, this thunder and lightning. Whoa, thunder and lightning. <gasps> whoa, whoa, it is so loud. Oh, it's okay though. It's just thunder and lightning. Just stay safe, okay? Stay safe and stay inside. Awesome, okay. We're gonna do one more. All right, so let's pretend it is really cold outside it's really really cold and it's oh goodness i'm shivering are you shivering wow it's really really cold let me warm up blow into my hands maybe it's just really cold oh it's really cold oh wait a minute now it's really hot oh my goodness what do you do when it's really hot Oh, if you have a jacket on, you gotta take off your jacket. Oh my goodness, it's hot. Woo, woo, it's really hot. Man, you gotta get you a nice cold water. Awesome job. So we went through all this weather, but no matter what, guys, no matter what we go through and what weather we go through, God's got it, all right? God will take care of you, all right? I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for coming and traveling with me into all the different weather and all the different places. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Sometimes I like to go outside. Sometimes I like to run and hide. But I know all the time, all the time, you are with me. Always with me because wherever I go, I know wherever I go, wherever 
Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Are you there? Oh! Hello there, friends. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Manny, and I'm happy to see you today. Can you believe it's still rainy outside? It's been pouring for days and days now, but that doesn't mean we can't have some fun. Do you know what this is? It's a cup with a string on the end. This string stretches all the way across the yard into my house. My mom has another cup on the other end of the string. We're gonna try to hear each other through the string. Isn't that cool? Let's try it. Hello, Mom, hello. Hmm. Hello, Mom, hello. Hello, Manny. Ho, ho. Talking to your mom, are you? Hi, Holly. Yeah, I sure am. My mom and I are trying to hear each other through the string. And it really works. We can hear each other. Cup phones are fun. Yes, it's true. But I know someone who always hears you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through. Hey, this one is for Mrs. Burkholtz. Oh, and this one is for Mr. Jackson. Oh, hi friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. It's so good to see you. I'm just getting all of these letters ready for delivery. I love when people send cards like this. Having a great trip. Miss you. Love, Gigi and Gramps. It's so great. I love all of the different ways that we have to talk to each other. In fact, today's story is about how we can talk to God. Are you ready to hear it? I said, are you ready to hear it? <laughs> Great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. So our true story from the Bible begins in a desert. Have you ever been to a desert? Some are sandy and hot, like really, really hot. Let's all pretend we're in a desert. Oh, oh man, it's so hot out here. Look at that sun. It must be 100 degrees. I'm sweating. Are you sweating? Let's fan ourselves. Whew. Whew. The desert is hot. Well, in today's story, in a hot desert, there was a mother named Hagar and her son. They look so tired, don't they? And hot. Now tell me, what do people need when they are hot and tired? Let's see if you can guess. Do they need a warm coat, roller skates, or a drink of water? A drink of water, that's right. Hagar and her son needed water, but they were out of water. Hagar didn't know what to do. They had no water to drink and couldn't walk any farther. Hagar's son started crying, and then <laughs> Hagar started crying too. Everyone, let's cry with them. Boo-hoo, boo-hoo. Okay, we can stop. Great job. They were all alone in the desert and thirsty and hot. They thought no one could hear them crying. Except, tell me, who always hears us? God, that's right. God can always hear us. Just then, an angel spoke to Hagar from above. Everyone say, whoa, whoa. The angel told Hagar to not be afraid. 
that God heard her son's cries and he was showing her where to find water. God loves us so much, doesn't he? He hears us no matter where we are. No matter where we go, God is with us. And we don't have to worry because God's got it. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God heard the boy, and he will hear you too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, what a great story. God heard Hagar and her son and gave them just what they needed. And guess what? God hears us and helps us too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did say got it, get it? Got it! Good! Do you know what the best part is? I don't need a cup phone to talk to God. He's always with me and always hears me, no matter what. Talk to you later, Mom. I'm gonna talk to God. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9 God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9